Myers, and this is Matt Ogus. And up? today, I'm going to be going through my specific workout. Now, I'm gonna be alongside Matt. He's gonna be doing some of his own exercises. So he has a, a bit of a wrist injury, correct? I do, I and do. And so when it comes to training and, and recovering, and not only recovering, but uh, building strength, muscle, whatever you're trying to do, what is uh, something that you can like kind of recommend yeah. for them? You know, cause you're like yeah. big on technique. Uh, you know, have your training book, have your log book, or log your weights in your phone so that every workout, all you need to focus on is either matching, matching exactly what you did before with better form, or performing just a little bit more, whether that's just like one more rep, even if it's just one more rep, or a little bit more weight, you're just progressively overloading over time, instead of just focusing on destroying yourself each and every workout. Right, and, and I see that time and time again in the gym, outside, at parks, you know, people are just trying to get through the exercises. Listen, if you're struggling through a movement and you're only five reps in, and you're supposed to do like say seven or eight, yeah. just stop. Don't do any more because uh, you will injure yourself and you do not want that to happen. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's have a great freaking workout. So I want to buy a, uh, a shirt for my friend Matt. Yeah, so which one do you yo, think? Dude, honestly, this has been like our number one seller right here. This is okay. Alfleet Script Performance C. You got Alfleet. Oh, sick. Is that, that color, man. You can't cool. go wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XL. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Matt. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yo, I was going to buy you a, a shirt, bro. Definitely going to give me five bucks. <laughs> Jim, it is raining here in Houston. How was your workout, Brian? So good. So good. And we got this man. We got George over here. What's going on, guys? Yo, I just truly want to say from the bottom of my heart, dog, like sometimes in life you have to do the things that you don't necessarily like in order to be able to do the things that you love later on in life. It's it's not a matter of what you want to do, it's a matter of what you're actually willing to do to get the thing. Because here's the thing, a lot of people want certain things in life, but they're just not willing to do the grunt work. They're just not willing to go through the pains of what it takes to- The mistakes, yeah. like like people hate the mistakes. But really those are the ones that give you like everything. Dude, honestly, like at this point in my life, like sometimes and even, I struggle with this even now at times, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you. Um, I think that a lot of times obviously fears and our own limited beliefs hold us back, but it's just like those are the times when you start feeling that, that discomfort, that disturbance, that's actually a good sign that that's exactly what you need to be doing. And if you break through that, you're essentially gonna, vibrate at a higher frequency and break into a newer and higher version of yourself and dude the reward is really compensated when you accomplish amen something. man amen on, right man. matt right matt what are you guys talking about right first don't say yeah right I, I don't know man you guys could have been saying some weird stuff that was inspirational man like you guys are talking about like politics and then, i walk right at the wrong time no 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 no, I, no, I no. Okay. Like he supports guys he supports what george is saying okay 